Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at NorwegianClass101.com. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, I'm Heather Nora. Hi everybody, I'm Nora. Welcome to NorwegianClass101.com's Norsk på tre minutter. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Norwegian. In the last lesson, we learn how to be grateful to people by saying tak. In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in Norway. Er dere klare? Are you ready? La oss begynne! So let's start! The most used informal greeting is hi. Hi. Hi means hi. We use it when we meet people. We can use this greeting with anyone. But 
it isn't the only way to greet someone. We also have hello, hello, which means hello. And more time specific greetings like Kudag, Kudag. Literally, Kudag means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use Kudag only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say Go kveld, go kveld. Kveld is Norwegian for evening. So, go kveld means good evening. Finally, in the mornings we say Go morn, go morn, which means good morning. Go dag, go kveld and go morn are used when we meet someone. But when we leave, we don't say them again. When parting ways for a long time, we usually say Ha det bra, ha det bra. Ha det bra means be well, but translates best as goodbye. Finally, in Norwegian, we have an expression meaning see you soon. Ses, ses. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Norwegian. Let's review them all again. When meeting friends or someone we don't know, hi or hello. When leaving, we say ha det bra. When leaving but want to imply see you soon, we say ses. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Nora's insights. In formal situations, Norwegian people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. However, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, it's common to give hugs. Don't be afraid to try it out with your Norwegian friends. During the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase Snakker du engelsk? Do you already know it? I'll be waiting to talk with you about it in our next Norsk på tre minutter lesson. Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources and start learning more every day. Hello everybody and welcome to this class. My name is Annette and I'm going to teach you top 25 phrases in Norwegian. Let's get started. Hello. 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 Actually, in Norwegian, the word for hello is so similar that even I mess it up. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, well, this is basically almost the same. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
Good afternoon. God natt. Good night. God natt. Good night. Time for bed. Vad heter du? What's your name? Vad heter du? What's your name? Uh, actually, this means something like, what are you called? Jag heter Annette. I'm Annette. Jag heter Annette. My name is Annette. Or literally, I'm called Annette. Hyggelig å møte deg. Nice to meet you. Hyggelig å møte deg. Nice to meet you. A very useful phrase when you meet somebody for the first time. Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Maybe if you haven't seen somebody for a long time, you can use this phrase. Jeg har det bra, takk. Hva med deg? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Jeg har det bra, takk. Hva med deg? I'm fine, thanks. And you? You could make this phrase even shorter and say bra, takk. Med deg? Vær så snill. Please. Vær så snill. Please. Yeah, this is a very useful phrase you can use in almost any situation if there's anything you want. Tack. Thank you. Tack. Thank you. We also have the phrase uh, tusen tack, which literally means a uh, thousand thanks if you want to be more polite. Varsågod. You're welcome. Varsågod. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Ja. Yes. Ja. Yes. Nej. No. Nej. No. Greit. Okay. Greit. Okay. Actually, you can just say okay as well, as it's very commonly used in Norwegian too. Unnskyld meg. Excuse me. Unnskyld meg. Excuse me. Unnskyld is a very useful phrase. Uh, when you want to say sorry, you can also say unnskyld. Jeg beklager. I'm sorry. Jeg beklager. I'm sorry. Or you can say unnskyld. Hva er klokka? What time is it? Hva er klokka? What time is it? Uh, actually, hva er klokka literally means what is the clock? Kan jeg få regningen, er du snill? Could I get the check, please? Kan jeg få regningen, er du snill? Could I get the check, please? Unfortunately, those bills aren't gonna pay themselves, you know. Vent et øyeblikk. Wait a moment. Vent et øyeblikk. Wait a moment. Øyeblikk actually means I blink, so wait just a blink of an eye. Hvor mye koster denne? How much is this? Hvor mye koster denne? How much is this? Well, yeah, as we all know, Norway is a really expensive country, so you're gonna need a lot of money traveling there. Hjelp. Help. Hjelp. Help. Easy to remember, almost the same. Se deg senere. See you later. Se deg senere. See you later. You can also say, vi ses senere. We'll see each other later. Farewell. Goodbye. Farewell. Goodbye. Actually, this is kind of a heavy phrase. Uh, it's like farewell in English. And uh, it's usually used if uh, you're saying goodbye to somebody you're not going to see in a very long time. Uh, so usually we would just say, ha det bra. Ha det bra uh, literally means have it well. So it just means, it just means uh, stay well. Jeg vet ikke. I don't know. Jeg vet ikke. I don't know. Sometimes you don't know. Nothing to do with that. That's all for now. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please uh, let us know if you have any questions or comments. Also, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, goodbye. Hello and welcome back to Top Norwegian Words. Today we're looking at 10 questions you should know in Norwegian. So let's get started. Hva heter du? What's your name? Hva heter du? What's your name? Jeg heter Annette. My name is Annette. Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Hvordan går det med deg? How are you? Jeg har det bra. I'm good. Hvor er du fra? Where are you from? Hvor er du fra? Where are you from? Jeg er fra Oslo. I'm from Oslo. Når er bursdagen din? When is your birthday? Når er bursdagen din? When is your birthday? Bursdagen min er 7. januar. 
My birthday is the 20th of January. Actually, my birthday is in December, so... December. Hvor bor du? Where do you live? Hvor bor du? Where do you live? Jeg bor i Bergen. I live in Bergen. Bergen is a nice city. If you live there, you're lucky. Hvor jobber du? Where do you work? Hvor jobber du? Where do you work? Jeg jobber i kommunen. I work at the municipality. Hva er telefonnummeret ditt? What's your phone number? Hva er telefonnummeret ditt? What's your phone number? Mitt telefonnummer er 90 45 40 50. My telephone number is 90 45 40 50. Now, of course, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna give up my number. <laughs> Hvor lærte du norsk? Where did you learn Norwegian? Hvor lærte du norsk? Where did you learn Norwegian? Jeg lærte norsk gjennom en nettside. I learned Norwegian through a website. NorwegianClass101.com Liker du norsk mat? Do you like Norwegian food? Liker du norsk mat? Do you like Norwegian food? Ja, jeg elsker norsk mat. Yes, I love Norwegian food. Especially salmon. Salmon is delicious. Har du vært i Norge? Have you been to Norway? Har du vært i Norge? Have you been to Norway? Ja, jeg har vært i Norge tre ganger. I have been to Norway three times. Okay guys, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below. Also, go to NorwegianClass101.com for more info and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you and see you again. Bye bye. Ha det bra. Hi everybody, this is Annette from NorwegianClass101.com. Today we're gonna look at must-know expressions for agreeing and disagreeing in Norwegian. So let's get started. Jeg kunne ikke vært mer enig med deg. I couldn't agree with you more. Jeg kunne ikke vært mer enig med deg. Jeg kunne ikke vært mer enig med deg. I couldn't agree with you more. Vel, jeg er ikke sikker. Well, I'm not sure. Vel, jeg er ikke sikker. Vel, jeg er ikke sikker. Well, I'm not sure. Selvfølgelig. Of course. Selvfølgelig. Of course. This literally means self-followingly. So yeah, of course. Selvfølgelig. Jeg antar det. I guess so. Jeg antar det. I guess so. Jeg antar han snakker sant. I guess he's telling the truth. Jeg skulle akkurat til å si det. I was just going to say that. Jeg skulle akkurat til å si det. I was just going to say that. Jeg skulle akkurat til å si det. Isn't it annoying when you have something clever you want to say and then somebody snatches that ID right in front of you? Ja, du har rett. Yes, you're right. Ja, du har rett. Yes, you're right. Ja, du har rett. Rett. Ja, du har rett. It is not easy to admit it when you're the one at fault, but sometimes you gotta say, you're right. Du tar feil. You're wrong. Du tar feil. You're wrong. Du tar feil. This literally means you take wrong. This might be a bit direct if you're talking to your colleagues or your boss, but it's quite commonly used among friends or family and sometimes it's it kind of gives you a good feeling when you can point out that somebody else is wrong, right? It's like, du tar feil. <laughs> You're wrong. Jeg tar aldri feil. I'm never wrong. Jeg tror ikke det. I don't think so. Jeg tror ikke det. 
I don't think so. Jeg tror ikke det. Kanskje. Maybe. Kanskje. Maybe. Kanskje literally means can happen. So if it can happen, then maybe. If you're a very non-confrontational person, you might want to use this phrase often. Maybe. Kanskje. Det er sant. That's true. Det er sant. That's true. Det er sant. Det er sant. Det er sant at du må studere mye hvis du vil bli flytende i norsk. It is true that you have to study a lot if you want to become fluent in Norwegian. Okay, everybody, that's all for now. You've been watching Must Know Expressions for Agreeing and Disagreeing in Norwegian. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and go to NorwegianClass101.com for more. See you again next week. Vi ses neste uke. Ha det bra! You are at a train station where you're attempting to buy an express ticket from a ticket machine. Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? Which option should you choose to buy an express ticket? The option on the bottom left is for an express train. Hurtitog. You are at a train station where you've just bought an express ticket. Which train car row and seat number are you in? Which train car row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in train car number one in the eighth row in seat C. You are at a train station where you're reading the train schedule for an express ticket that you've just bought. On which days are there no express trains running? On which days are there no express trains running? There are no express trains running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. You are on a platform at a train station where you're waiting for your train. Suddenly, a message appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean? What does the message on the display mean?
The display reads, Passing Train. Passerende tog. You are at a train station where you're looking for the best exit to catch a taxi. Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? Which exit should you take to get to the taxi rank? You should take the east exit in order to get to the taxi rank. Utgang mot øst. Want to speak real Norwegian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at norwegianclass101.com. Ei kvinne spør en ekspeditør noe på en bokhandel. Hvilken bok har kvinnen lyst til å se? Unnskyld, jeg vil gjerne se på en bok på denne hylla. Hvilken bok vil du ha? Den om biler. Et øyeblikk. Denne? Ja, det er den. Vær så god. Hvilken bok har kvinnen lyst til å se? Ei kvinne spør en ekspeditør noe på en bokhandel. Hvilken bok har kvinnen lyst til å se? Unnskyld, jeg vil gjerne se på en bok på denne hylla. Hvilken bok vil du ha? Den om biler. Et øyeblikk. Denne? Ja, det er den. Vær så god. En mann og en kvinne ser på en meny på en restaurant. Hva skal mannen bestille? Hva skal du bestille? Pizzaen ser deilig ut. Jeg tror jeg tar den. Jeg hadde pizza i går, så... Ok da. Hva med hamburgeren? Høres bra ut. Jeg tar den. Hva skal mannen bestille? En mann og en kvinne ser på en meny på en restaurant. Hva skal mannen bestille? Hva skal du bestille? Pizzaen ser deilig ut. Jeg tror jeg tar den. Jeg hadde pizza i går, så... Ok da. Hva med hamburgeren? Høres bra ut. Jeg tar den. En mann ringer legekontoret. Når må han være på legekontoret? Hei, hvordan kan jeg hjelpe deg? Når stenger dere i dag? Vi stenger klokka seks, men vennligst kom før halv seks. Ok, takk skal du ha. Når må han være på legekontoret? En mann ringer legekontoret. Når må han være på legekontoret? Hei, hvordan kan jeg hjelpe deg? Når stenger dere i dag? Vi stenger klokka seks, men vennligst kom før halv seks. Ok, takk skal du ha. En gutt leser fra dagboka si. Hva var den første tingen gutten gjorde i dag? Været var bra i dag. Jeg svømte i svømmehallen om ettermiddagen, og jeg gikk på kino om kvelden. Jeg studerte hele morgenen også. I dag var ikke så verst. Hva var den første tingen gutten gjorde i dag? En gutt leser fra dagboka si. Hva var den første tingen gutten gjorde i dag? 
Været var bra i dag. Jeg svømte i svømmehallen om ettermiddagen, og jeg gikk på kino om kvelden. Jeg studerte hele morgenen også. I dag var ikke så verst. En kvinne og en mann ser på et bilde. Hvilket bilde ser de på? Dette er et bilde av fotballaget sønnen din er på, ikke sant? Hvem er sønnen din? Han her. Å, han er den høyeste. Jep, han er til og med høyere enn meg. Hvilket bilde ser de på? En kvinne og en mann ser på et bilde. Hvilket bilde ser de på? Dette er et bilde av fotballaget sønnen din er på, ikke sant? Hvem er sønnen din? Han her. Å, han er den høyeste. Jep, han er til og med høyere enn meg. Jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte dere. Hei, I'm Nora. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Norwegian expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Norwegian. You only need to know two sentences. Let's see how Norwegian people introduce themselves. Hei, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. Hei, I'm Nora. Nice to meet you. Hei, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. Start by saying, hei, jeg heter. Then say your name. Hei, jeg heter Nora. Finally, say hyggelig å møte deg. Hei, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. And now, let's see the same sentence in a different format. Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig. Hello, my name is Nora. Nice to meet you. Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these together. Hei has been substituted with an alternative greeting, Hallo, Norwegian for hello. In a formal setting, you would say your full name, but it is better to just use your first name when being introduced to new friends. Hyggelig å møte deg has been shortened to just hyggelig. When meeting someone in a formal context, for instance at work, hyggelig å møte deg would be the most appropriate greeting. When being introduced to new friends, hyggelig will do. One more time. One way to introduce yourself in Norwegian is Hei, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig å møte deg. An alternative way to introduce yourself is Hallo, jeg heter Nora. Hyggelig. Now it's time for Nora's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Norway. While hyggelig å møte deg is slightly more formal than just hyggelig, you don't need to worry too much about which one you use. If you use one of these sentences with Norwegian people, they're definitely going to be impressed. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Norwegian. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Er dere klare? Are you ready? La oss begynne. So let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the easiest. It is just one word. Takk. Takk. Takk means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add tusen at the beginning. Tusen takk. Tusen takk. Tusen means thousand. So, tusen takk is like saying a thousand thanks. During the last lesson, 
We didn't really mention anything about formality in speech in Norwegian. However, there are some subtle differences in how you will be perceived by others. Tack is a casual way to thank someone. Tusen tack expresses more gratitude and is thus more formal. A longer and more formal phrase which expresses a lot of gratitude would be Tusen tack, så hyggelig av deg. Here we have just added så hyggelig av deg, which means how nice of you. Tusen tack, så hyggelig av deg. But how do you answer these expressions of gratitude? It's easy. There are basically two different ways to do it. The first is velbekomme. Velbekomme. Velbekomme literally means you are welcome. The other way to say you are welcome is the expression bare hyggelig. Bare hyggelig. Literally, this phrase means it's my pleasure or with pleasure. But it is the most common and polite way to respond to someone thanking you. So when someone is saying tack to you, you can simply reply with velbekomme or bare hyggelig. Now it's time for Nora's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use tack or tusen tack, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Tack can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. In the last lesson, we learn how to be grateful to people by saying tack. In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in Norway. Er dere klare? Are you ready? La oss begynne. So let's start. The most used informal greeting is hi. Hi. Hi means hi. We use it when we meet people. We can use this greeting with anyone. But it isn't the only way to greet someone. We also have hello. Hello. Which means hello. And more time specific greetings like good dog. Good dog. Literally, good dog means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use Gudag only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening, we say Go kveld, go kveld. Kveld is Norwegian for evening, so Go kveld means good evening. Finally, in the mornings, we say Go morn, go morn, which means Good morning. Good dag, good kveld, and good morn are used when we meet someone. But when we leave, we don't say them again. When parting ways for a long time, we usually say Ha det bra. Ha det bra. Ha det bra means be well, but translates best as goodbye. Finally, in Norwegian, we have an expression meaning see you soon. Ses. Ses. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Norwegian. Let's review them all again. When meeting friends or someone we don't know, hi or hello. When leaving, we say ha det bra. When leaving but want to imply see you soon, we say ses. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Nora's insights. In formal situations, Norwegian people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. However, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, it's common to give hugs. Don't be afraid to try it out with your Norwegian friends. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Norwegian. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Norwegian, 
you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if their answer is no. Here's the most common way to say it. Snakker du engelsk? Snakker du engelsk? Norwegian is a pretty straightforward language. We conjugate verbs based on time, which means we have past, present and infinitive. The question snakker du engelsk translates as are you speaking English? The verb snakker, to speak, is in the present tense. The second word in the sentence, du, simply means you. And you probably recognize engelsk to be English. Snakker du engelsk? To learn how to properly conjugate verbs like snakker, please check out our absolute beginner series on NorwegianClass101.com. You can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. Like English, there are many ways to ask this question. Let's look at another one, also pretty similar to English. Kan du snakke engelsk? It's literally the equivalent of can you speak English? Kan du snakke engelsk? Adding inchil, excuse me, to the sentence would make it inchil, kan du snakke engelsk? Inchil, kan du snakke engelsk? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Ja, yes. Ja. Litt, a little. Litt. Nei, jeg kan ikke snakke engelsk. No, I can't speak English. Nei, jeg kan ikke snakke engelsk. Since this last one is a negative statement, we need to say ikke before the verb snakke. Notice also that the verb snakke is slightly different than snakker. Remember, the verb changes depending on the time it is in. We are now talking about the infinitive, since it is coupled with kan, which means can. Now it's time for Nora's insights. For those of you who don't just speak English, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Norwegian people study other European languages at school, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute Engelsk with Italiensk for Italian, Fransk for French, Spansk for Spanish, Tysk for German. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase Inchil, kan du snakke Engelsk? Excuse me, do you speak English? We mentioned the word Inchil, which means excuse me in Norwegian. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use inchil and other words when apologizing in Norwegian. We should use inchil in formal situations, such as when we are ordering something in bars or restaurants. For example, inchil and kaffe tak. Excuse me, a coffee please. We can also use it when asking a question. Inchil, hvor er fangene parken? Excuse me, where is the Vigeland Park? Sometimes we also hear people say Beklager, which means the same thing when you want to apologize for a mistake. Beklager. Another common way to say excuse me is Inchil. Inchil. Just like Beklager, we can use Inchil when apologizing for a mistake. You can also hear some Norwegians say Sorry which is a long word from English. It's often used as a quick apology amongst friends. All of these phrases can be used for either excuse me or I'm sorry. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a longer phrase. That phrase is Unnskyld, jeg er virkelig lei for det. It means excuse me, I am really sorry. And can be used in both formal and informal situations. Unnskyld, jeg er virkelig lei for det. First, we have the familiar unnskyld. Next, we insert the pronoun for I, jeg. Then, 
er, which means am. This is followed by virkeli, which means really. Finally, we have the phrase lei for det, meaning sorry about it. Unnskyld, jeg er virkelig lei for det. Now it's time for Nora's insights. In Norway, if you accidentally bump into someone, you might not get any response. But to be polite, we either say inchil or beklager. It is also common to use the exclamation å oh, before apologizing. Å oh, beklager. When learning a new language, we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination, discouragement, or failure. But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number one, optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends, but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number two, consistency with your chosen method. There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number three, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar, or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number four, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step-by-step step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight, but with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. Give it a try now. Sign up for your account. Just click the link in the description. Top 10 phrases you'll need for a date. So let's get started. Har du lyst til å gå ut og spise middag med mig? Har du lyst til å gå ut og spise middag med mig? Would you like to go out to dinner with me? Har du lyst å gå ut og spise middag med mig? Would you like to go out to dinner with me? In Norway, it's quite common to eat dinner at home. So you might instead get invited to go home to somebody for dinner. So don't get surprised if somebody asks you home for dinner. Er du ledig i helgen? Er du ledig i helgen? Are you free this weekend? Er du ledig i helgen? Are you free this weekend? Norwegians usually have quite a lot of spare time, so they like to ask, uh, not that specifically, it's not like, are you free on Saturday? It's like, are you free this weekend? Then it gives the uh, person more time to think about like when they would be available to hang out. So this can be used with both uh, friends or for dates as well. Har du lyst til å henge med mig? Har du lyst til å henge med mig? Would you like to hang out with me? Har du lyst til å henge med mig? Would you like to hang out with me? This again you can use with uh, friends or somebody you're more interested in. Um, in Norway, we don't have a very clear point in time where people stop being friends and begin being in a relationship. So these kind of vague phrases is very common. 
Du er så søt. Du er så søt. You're so cute. Du er så søt. You are so cute. This is maybe a phrase that guys would say to girls rather than the other way around. But on the other hand, um, it's not that common to call girls cute in Norway. Um, maybe you would uh, go for something else like cool, kul, or um, pen, pretty. Du er pen. You are pretty. Du er kul. You are cool. Du ser bra ut. Du ser bra ut. You look great. Du ser bra ut. You look great. Yeah, this is a very useful phrase. Uh, you can use it both with friends or your special one. And this can be used both to your female friends and your male friends. Det var en flott kveld. Det var en flott Kveld. That was a great evening. Det var en flott kveld. That was a great evening. Uh, this is also a phrase you can use very easily with friends or yeah, anybody you had a good time with. Jeg ringer dig. Jeg ringer dig. I'll call you. Jeg ringer dig. I'll call you. Well, in some cases, if it hadn't been such a great evening, this might be an excuse to never talk again. So just be aware of that. If the night was uh, successful, I think most people would probably ask uh, when they would be able to meet again. Like, oh, this has been a really nice evening. Do you want to hang out again next week or something? But I'll call you. Um, maybe he won't. Jeg kan kjøre deg hjem. Jeg kan kjøre deg hjem. I'll drive you home. Jeg kan kjøre deg hjem. I'll drive you home. In Norway, taxis are quite expensive, so if you found somebody who is willing to drive you home, then you're lucky. Um, if it's a good person, of course. Når skal vi møtes i morgen? Når skal vi møtes i morgen? What time shall we meet tomorrow? Når skal vi møtes i morgen? What time shall we meet tomorrow? As you might know, uh, Norway has very short work hours. So even during the weekdays, it is easy to meet up after work. And since it's uh, during the summer, it's usually light outside until very late. So uh, you might want to go out in the nature, maybe do some barbecue or something. Anything is possible. Kan vi møtes igen? Kan vi møtes igen? Can I see you again? Kan vi møtes igen? Can I see you again? Well, if somebody asks you this question, then you've probably made a good impression. Good job! And phrases to amaze a native speaker. Let's get started! Takk, men norsk er faktisk ikke mitt morsmål. Thank you, but Norwegian is actually not my native tongue. Tack, men norsk er faktisk ikke mitt morsmål. Thank you, but Norwegian is actually not my native tongue. In recent years, there is actually a lot of uh, people who have a uh, different ethnical backgrounds, but who has been adopted. So even though people don't look Norwegian, they might actually be at a native level uh, talking about the language. So never judge a book by its cover. Det tog mig bara ett år för att bli flytande. It took me only one year to become fluent. Det tog mig bara ett år att bli flytande. 
it took me only one year to become fluent. Especially if you know uh, English or German or any other uh, Western European language, then you're gonna find Norwegian quite easy to learn. Jeg vil snakke norsk som en nordmann innen tre år. I want to speak Norwegian like a native in three years. Jeg vil snakke norsk som en nordmann innen tre år. I want to speak Norwegian like a native in three years. You can do it. You can practice your Norwegian with us here at NorwegianClass101.com. Jeg har lært norsk i ti år. I've been learning Norwegian for 10 years. Jeg har lært norsk i ti år. I've been learning Norwegian for 10 years. Well, yeah, if you study Norwegian for 10 years, I can guarantee you, you're gonna be very good. Jeg kan se norske filmer uten undertekster. I can watch Norwegian movies without subtitles. Jeg kan se norske filmer uten undertekster. I can watch Norwegian movies without subtitles. As you know, Norway is a very small country, so we don't produce that many movies. But there are some good ones out there, like uh, Kontiki, for instance, was uh, nominated for Oscar a couple of years ago. And recent days, uh, you have the Norwegian drama Skam, which is very popular, which I really recommend you guys to check out. Jeg kan huske rundt 50 nye norske ord om dagen. I can memorize around 50 new Norwegian words a day. Jeg kan huske rundt 50 nye norske ord om dagen. I can memorize around 50 new Norwegian words a day. Well, 50 words is quite impressive. If you can memorize 50 words a day, you're gonna be at native level in no time. Go for it. Bortsett fra å kunne norsk, kan jeg også snakke noen andre språk. Apart from knowing Norwegian, I can speak a few other languages as well. Bortsett fra å kunne norsk, kan jeg også snakke noen andre språk. Apart from knowing Norwegian, I can speak a few other languages as well. Did you know that Norwegian and Swedish and Danish are really, really similar? So just by learning Norwegian, you can actually learn three languages at once. That's pretty cool, right? Jeg forstod alt du sa. I completely understood everything you said. Jeg forstod alt du sa. I completely understood everything you said. Great! That means your Norwegian is improving, right? Keep it up! Jeg leser ofte norsk skjønnlitteratur. I often read Norwegian fiction. Jeg leser ofte norsk skjønnlitteratur. I often read Norwegian fiction. In the Scandinavian countries, we have a genre called Krim, uh, which is about kind of detective mystery novels that are really, really popular. You can check out, for instance, Varg Veum. He's a detective from my hometown. You can also check out Jon Nesbø, who's a very famous Norwegian writer. And his book, uh, The Snowman, Snømannen, is gonna be made into a movie, actually. So. Yeah, you should definitely check that one out. Jeg studerer norsk på universitetet. I study Norwegian at the university. Jeg studerer norsk på universitetet. I study Norwegian at the university. In Norway, uh, we don't really judge people based on which university they study at. We judged based on which major people choose. So you can actually get into, uh, for instance, um, Universitetet i Oslo, the university in Oslo, without having good grades if you choose an unpopular major. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. 
You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.